Who are we looking at? Hello. Teddy Wolf. T E D D Y W O L F E. Director of Fire Service, Orangeburg County Fire District. At approximately 9.30 this morning, the county rescue team was called for a confined space rescue at the facility behind me here. Um, there was one male gentleman who was stuck <clears throat> in the grain of this silo. And um, we had special tools that uh, a normal fire truck doesn't carry that we had to bring to the scene here. Uh, due to the heat and the confined space part of this, it uh, required a lot of manpower and woman power to uh, make this happen. And uh, luckily, uh, we had a good turnout. I don't know how he came about getting in the silo. Uh, from what I understand, he was a plant employee of the facility behind us. I'm not sure what he was doing in there. Um, doesn't really matter to us um, at that point. Um, the fact is, uh, once we realize that you can't get out, um, there's only a matter of time before you get sucked down even further into the grain, which is a challenge in itself if you've ever dealt with quicksand or anything like that. What you have is the, the grain. As you move something out the way, the other grain comes right back in. So we have to put up this shoring all the way around the, uh, the victim. And at the same time, you have to make sure that your responders, your your folks can find face folks that are in there are also protected so they don't get sucked down into it. And were those the boards you all were feeding in there? We have what we call a commercial system which is uh, made just for auger rescue just like this which is metal sheets that would um, fashion together and make a circle around the victim. Um, and in that you have that protecting him or her from going down any further. What we have to do is bring those boards that you were speaking of and put them on the outside of that. All of this is to shore up this so we can work next to the guy while they are vacuuming or <clears throat> arguing the uh, product out the way. Y'all been here for a while. Y'all seen a lot of folks coming and going and a lot of ropes going up and down. I cannot tell you how well all of these agencies, this is the city, the county, um, our EMS. We had uh, admin people from the county of Orangeburg here and the city of Orangeburg. Uh, our EMS folks were in with the patient. We had two EMS paramedics that were uh, in with the, the person the whole time. And we had direct contact with our local hospital who were giving particular orders, you know, for his comfort. Um, as well, we had water. Um, that was being fed up to the crew in the silo and the crew that was above them, um, above all of this while they were anchoring this gentleman in place. Talk about that gentleman for a second. What was his day like? How did you keep him calm? How did you assess his condition early and throughout the day? Being there with him and calming and reassuring, I couldn't imagine being in his position but being there with him, calm and reassuring, is, is all we can do. And just knowing that we are there with him, um, the fluids that we were giving him, you know, our folks were able to cycle out every so many hours. He's been there since 9.30 this morning. So uh, medically providing those fluids to him is what got him through to this point here. Say again? No. He is at the hospital. Um, he was conscious when he left here. The door that you see where the crews were going in, the grain was just below that. There's a crack just below that area. If you would see that, that's where the grain was. So they were actually going through that door and down just a piece. We have what we call a um, attic ladder in there that they were using to crawl down below that grade. I do not know, but I don't think so, but I don't know. Uh, the city of Orangeburg chief um, spoke to me a little while ago and said, you know, we've had a, 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 a not so good outcome here in the past. So it could have very well been the same here today. But uh, today, the stars were lined up for us all.
you know, that's one thing that we deal with all the time is training, 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 training. And it came, it came true today uh, of the, the training that these folks have put in day after day. It was just phenomenal to see them bringing all this stuff together. And what's more important here today is you realize what resources you have, and if you don't have a resource, you make phone calls. And while we were here 9.30 this morning until just hours ago, everything was going well. We had a couple of turns here or there that said, hey, you know, looking for what else might we need to do? So in that case, we started calling on our friends in our neighboring counties. And I hope I don't begin anybody, but uh, all of our surrounding counties, let me just say that, stood up and uh, three, four of them actually started heading this way um, just in case things turned south, we'd have more resources coming in to uh, help cycle our folks out. Matter of fact, right this second, we have Lexington County here that have let our guys rest. They're going in and breaking all this stuff down so they can get back um, to work. All right, the vacuum truck behind me was used to vacuum the corn, the grain, away from <clears throat> The area where they were working. Say again. That part I don't know, but I know they had him and one other person at the uh, on on the catwalk where we were going through, and they did have a, uh, a cable of some sort to a tagline, but I don't know who called number one. Just I multiply it about ten. 10 to 15 degrees and remember you have no air and you have low light and on top of all that if you ever seen if you ever shuck corn saw that that husk fly imagine all that stuff around you we had oxygen cylinders that were constantly brought back and forth the EMS folks had to go back to their stock and bring kept bringing them out here no I will say this, um, I assume they were family and friends. They stayed out the way and they let us work. They didn't get in the way. It was, it was all around a good situation here today. Is it day like today while you got in the firefighting and uh, what's your sense of pride and accomplishment with a successful day? It's more than that, but I'll tell you that uh, I've been in the fire service since I was uh, 15 years old. And yes, this is why I was here. Uh, the old cliche to help others, but really to help others and today this gentleman and those folks, the family, saw these folks that have never seen them before do all of this since 9.30 this morning. It's just, I'll sleep well tonight. What did he say when he came out? I was not with him, so I don't know. But I know they, I know what I would have said. Thank you, Lord, when I would have saw the light. Jurisdictions don't mean nothing here in Orangeburg city, county, other different agencies, it even cross county lines. I even had uh, resources from the state heading this way just in case. And uh, we are just so glad that we can be a part of this and um, we're just so thankful for the positive outcome. Yes, sir. So I hadn't even started counting that, but I will tell you every bit of 30 folks All that dust and stuff that I was talking about, every piece of everything is gonna to have to be wiped down. So cleaning it will be. Right now that's what they're doing. They're sorting it out over these blue tarps. They'll get it back to the rightful owner and then those folks will go back to their prospective stations and start cleaning all of this stuff. Probably another hour or so getting things cleaned up with uh, Lexington here with those fresh bodies. That's a big plus for uh, us getting everything broke back down. I do know there was another medical that was unrelated to our response. I uh, don't know the details of it. Thank you. Y'all take care. Congratulations. Stay cool. Well done. And behave.